Today on Steve Rob Reviews, we're going to have some fun. We're going to investigate whether you see this powder coating on these mower blades that I got from my lawn tractor. Well, powder coating. Should you put powder coating on there? We're going to take a look at these blades here that I bought. Well, it's over a year ago. And uh, I got them off of Amazon. Smoking deal. I'm going to take a look at the blades and I'm going to show you exactly how they came to me and why powder coating is not the way to go as far as I'm concerned. And these blades apparently, well, the head offices, as far as I could see, were in Ontario and in Michigan. And I think you're going to get a good chuckle <laughs> when I show you how sharp these blades are. Let's take a look. Well, let's take a good look at these blades. The first thing I'll tell you is the price was awesome. The blades to me look perfectly fine. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they're plenty thick and everything else. But I want to show you here. Does that look at all sharp to you? Like there's nothing sharp at all. And if we take a look at the manufacturer here, precision sharpened, hand balanced, hardened, and tempered. You know, there's nothing sharp here at all. But you know, I read, and here's a big divot out of this one, I read all the reviews, and yeah, some people were saying, yeah, they're not sharp. And you could understand. And then one person said to me, now if you take a look here, you could see where they were ground at one time. And what they've done, I think, is just sharpen them and then put powder coating over top. And there's nothing sharp here, right? Like this is dull, dull, dull. And then I read one review and it said, they look dull, but actually they're real sharp. And I thought, hmm, let me investigate this more. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take one of these blades and see if we could scrape off this powder coating and whether it is actually sharp under there. So let's try that. Okay, so there we go right there. I got you all zoomed in. Now I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and let's just see if I can peel off this. Yeah, look, at, look at all this stuff coming off. I mean, this is... Uh... <laughs> I mean, is this too much or what? I mean, this is on here pretty thick, especially at the end here. Okay. Well, guys, there's nothing sharp there yet. Okay, so let me just see if I can just, uh, just maybe I can take some of this powder coating off the other side too with the knife. You know, you shouldn't really have to do that. When they come to you, they should be sharp, right? And. Like, there's no way I'm sharpening this with the knife. I know that. But I can see that. Okay, I'll, go, I'll show you this right now and see what you think. Now check that out. Look at the powder coating that I scraped off just on that edge right there. And as you could see, you know, it's still not that sharp at all. But I mean... Can you hear that? Yeah, she's a little bit sharp, but this powder coating, nah, that's not the way to go. So would I buy these blades again? Absolutely, because you know what? For me, well, I can sharpen these so easily. It doesn't take me much time at all. And the price that I paid for these are probably, I'm going to say a quarter of the price of the OEM. And where does the OEM get theirs made from? I have no idea either. The only thing that did concern me is you take a look at that center hole. The powder coating in there. Is that going to be obstructing the exact fit on the hub? I'm not too sure. But I really don't think so. I'll let you know in the future. You're going to see me put these on the lawn tractor this year, hopefully. And this is what I like to do. I like to get a, a fresh set of blades and just swip them out back and forth rather than... Well, of course, I've got to get the lawn tractor, lift it up, take the blades off, and sharpen them, right? Well, all I do is I bring them back to the city. I don't bring my lawn tractor home with me. So, I just thought I'd show you this here today, and 
See what you guys think about this powder coating. I've never been a big fan of any powder coating, but I guess it's good marketing. I mean, they sell these blades, uh, a lot of them. And when you take a look at the reviews on Amazon, yeah, the one review that caught my eye was, I thought they were dull, but they actually weren't. Yeah, if you scrape off all the powder coating, yeah, there, there is an actual sharpened edge underneath there. But what use is that when they're supposed to come to you sharpened? Not with big globs of powder coating hanging off the edges, right? Okay, so thanks for joining me here today. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again and see some more reviews. Cheers.